Hey everybody, welcome back to the 3000 series of Love of Quilting. We've just finished a couple of episodes today. I'm Sarah Gallegos, your host, and I've got Colleen Tauke with me here today. She is the sewing specialist for Fonz and Porter. Yep. And she's always got extra tips. So we created a really cool quilt. It was, what was it called? Flying to the Stars. Yes. And we did, um, Brighten Up Buttercup was our focus, right. but the Flying to the Stars, we didn't get to do quite as much details we'd like to, so we're gonna show you just a little bit more. Yeah, a little behind the scenes extra information about the alternate block that we showed you. We were using the Twisted Pinwheel template, and um, in that Flying to the Stars block, it uses 12 of those shapes to make the block that you see here. And if you put all those together and you look at the block in the quilt, you're going, it doesn't, it's not the same. It doesn't look the same, right. It's because it has to be trimmed up when we're done. You are going to be a curved piecing pro by the time you get done with a few of these blocks, right? Exactly, <laughs> there are a lot of pieces in it, but it just is the most fun because there's so much motion in the block. Absolutely. So when you get done piecing and you have it all nice and flattened out, you need to trim it up. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna be using some of those corners those ones that look like in buttercup, but they're also gonna be corners in this block. So what we're gonna do is take a large ruler and we're gonna take off a few of the points mm -hmm. on the outer edge. You gonna do it? Yep, we're, Gotta put let's the glove do on. it. <laughs> you get done putting it all together and then sometimes it's kinda sad, you're gonna have to trim it, but. Fun little scrap pieces. Yep, you just have a little bit of leftovers, so you're gonna line up and you're gonna take off these two and these. So is that too much waste? Not too much That's waste, not considering bad Considering how many pieces you've already put together. Great. Then you're gonna rotate your block and trim the last two sides. And after all that work, you're gonna be loving your twisted pinwheel block. I love this, I think it's really pretty, these yep. fabrics. And then it finished off with this one with a star center. Yeah. And the stars on this one were all the same. So kind of fun, the other, um, quilt that we looked at had uh -huh. flowers, but they were all made out of different prints. Different prints, different fabrics. And then you could even do, I even brought in another um, example of using the 1930s prints with a red star in the center. So there's so many things you can do with a twisted pinwheel. Absolutely, and some of the tips that we shared in this episode, you gotta make sure you watch it, are how to do um, shadow applique. Window, or window, window applique. applique. Yep, and then we were using these to cover if any of your points don't match in the very center of your block. It's a real nice little tool. Exactly. And then we had something cool that we added to uh, the back of our template too. We wanted to show you this product that we ran across. It's called Grip Strip and we applied it to the back of all our templates, especially with these curves, to hold everything in place, especially when you're cutting into a narrow place like this, right. the fabric always wants to walk out. Mm -hmm. And then you get an inaccurate cut. Well, that defeats the purpose of doing right. this. So these little grip strips come, and they're flexible. They have a sticky side, so you can apply them to the back of your template, and they go around curves really nice. Very nice for these so, templates. And then when you hold on to it to cut, it stays really nice and straight for you. Yep. Great Perfect. tips. Mm -hmm. Colleen's always got way more than we can actually cover in the episodes, so I love that we can share them with you behind the scenes. Thanks for joining us.